guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kayla and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do these super fun baby tag loveys. They are so easy to make. This took me about 10 minutes and I'm really excited to show you guys how I did it. Okay guys, so I have my two pieces here. Both of these are 12 and a half inch squares. So I'm just going to set the flannel piece to the side and work with just the minky dot. I have several pieces of ribbon cut and trimmed. These are each about three and a half piece, uh, pieces, three and a half inches long. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the minky dot in front of me and I trying my best to crease these ribbon pieces in half, just kind of pinching it and making a little crease mark. And then I'm just going to play with it and set them around the blanket um, wherever I see fit. So I have the minky dot piece right side up and I'm just laying these on top. And I'll show you um, what, uh, how I will pin them and secure them in just a moment. These blue ones don't want to stay folded, but that's okay because we are about to put our flannel piece on top. So these um, are, I put these down first, just as kind of like a general guideline, just to see where I want them. Um, so I, I can move them and adjust them as we go. So I'm not too worried about it now. I know it looks weird now and like a hot mess now, but just wait a minute. So I'm going to gently take my, my flannel piece and I'm going to put it upside down on top of the minky dot and of course I will adjust my ribbon pieces in just a moment so I'm just going to match up corner to corner and then I'm just going to slowly lift up each side and just adjust my ribbons to where they are going to poke out just a little bit from where my fabric is. I'm just going to have a tiny bit of the ribbon sticking out from over the edge of the minky dot. I didn't have it before because I was just doing my placement, but now that I have the top piece on, I'm going to do that. So now I'm going to gently fold this back over and carefully match up the corners again. So now you can see just a little bit poking through. So now I'm going to go ahead and do this for all four sides. Another way you can do it too is to just lay down your pieces right sides together and then just go through and poke these through underneath um, wherever, wherever you'd like. So you can do it that way too. Okay, so now you can see I have little bits of the ribbon sticking out. I'm going to adjust my flannel on top. And now we're gonna pin, and as we pin, I'm going to press down the ribbon pieces and pin over where I have the ribbon. So I'm going to start on the corner so that my corners don't shift. and then pin the ribbon in place. Now this pink one keeps wanting to shift, so I'm just going to adjust it with my finger and hold over it and 
paint it as I put it in. I think I might have left myself too small of a hole, but that's okay. Let's see. Okay, so I'm just going to cut off my long strings from my back stitches. Make sure I got all my pins out and turn it out. Okay, so now I'm just going to poke out the corners. I use this just tiny little screwdriver that I have. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't use anything too sharp because obviously you don't want to poke through your fabric. So all I'm doing is the corners that I flipped out are still just a little rounded in. So I'm just going to point those out to where it actually looks like a square again. Like that. I don't know if you guys can see that. So I just real gently poke them out with, with my little tool. Sometimes I will use the end of a pen. Sometimes I'll use the edge of like rounded scissors. Okay, so now I'm just going to flatten it out a little bit and pin it so we can do our top stitch. Okay guys, so here it is up close. This guy got sewed on crooked, but I think that's okay. So here you can see um, just yeah how they are. Once they stick out, you could obviously do them longer or shorter. You could do different thicknesses of ribbon, um, but I just chose to do these three just to keep it simple. So there you have it. So let me know what you guys think. Okay guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. These baby tag blankets are so fun to make. They make great gifts. They make great last minute gifts. I mean, like, I wasn't kidding when I said this took me about 10 minutes to make, if that. I think the longest part was cutting out my fabric and my ribbon. <laughs> so leave me a comment down below and say hi, and I will see you guys next time.